cuties welcome back to my channel uh, I'm storm and today I'm going to be showing you my collage magazine harvest collection and how I store how I organize all of my magazine images for my collages my glue books and basically hopefully this video will give you guys a couple ideas on uh, how you guys could organize your setups because when you start doing magazine harvests oh my goodness you you get a lot of images, let's just say. So let's get into it. Uh, the method to my madness can be explained by these guys. Paper protectors. Uh, I asked my grandma one day to pick me up 10 from Walmart and she ended up coming back with uh, 250 of them from Sam's Club. So I had to figure out a way to use these uh, in order to hopefully not waste any of them. So what I came up with was using these and creating small size pockets within them. And how I did that, I've seen a couple videos of uh, people using sewing machines and that's awesome. That's, I wish I could do that, but I don't have a sewing machine. So I had to figure out a, another way to be able to store my images uh, in a various sizes because you know, you have full pages that are these big boys. You have, you know, what is it? Half size images. And then you have little fussy cut images where you kind of need a small pocket to be able to easily grab them and easily, you know, be able to see them and not lose any of them in the, in the mess. <laughs> so uh, how I decided to go about it was this, this bad boy with some scissors and my Suk Wang uh, double-sided tape made in Korea uh, and what I decided to do let me show you I cut across the middle of one of these paper protectors that way I could have a smaller pocket but you know when you cut along this you kind of leave a uh, open end at the bottom for this top one so I obviously needed to figure out a way to kind of seal these and be able to make different sizes. So this is where the double-sided tape comes in. Underneath this washi tape, you'll see, you well, you really can't see, but there's a piece of this Sukwang tape going along it. And that allowed me to create the pockets, which are pretty secure. Like, I don't think there's gonna be anything, I'm gonna have to worry about these like breaking open anytime soon and I've been shoving my fingers in the I'm not I'm not gentle with this so I can tell y'all oh I'm sorry I just hit the mic with my face <laughs> I have a new mic I, I don't know if you guys noticed but yeah I hope I'm sounding crispy and sexy uh but for these images I'm getting back to this using this allows me to create pockets of different sizes and different um for different you know size of images so for the smallest ones my little fussy cuts what i did was i did around the middle and then that way you can grab in you can pull the images out and it's easy access but it's also visually uh, appealing because you can see kind of you know some of the images that you have and it does they don't get lost i feel like in other storage options sometimes the fussy cuts get lost <laughs> especially if you're storing them with big images like this is why I needed to have different sizes because they like to hide especially in the corners let me see if I tried you know putting it if I had any little animal fussy cuts like really tiny ones they would love to get stuck in the corners and behind the big images and before you know it, I don't know what I have anymore. While having these, you know, smaller. Oh, and then I used, uh, where is it? This 50 cent hole punch I got from Walmart. I used to hole punch a new hole. That way it's able to fit within a binder like that. Really easy. And uh, yeah, they don't ever really fall out. I would say 95% of the time they don't fall out unless I'm jostling the book, you know, throwing it around. So I'm very excited uh, 
to have this like storage but what I also did I made different sizes so we have the small fussy cuts have the little tiny baseball card I would say it's a, a bit bigger than a baseball card holder uh, just so I can fit my chubby hands in that's the only reason why I made it this big you can make it smaller you can make it bigger whatever to uh, whatever you need to suit your needs you know but what I did on these ones I have uh, just one of these just cut down the middle and just placed it in the binder done <laughs> for my uh, kind of like medium size images that I don't want to be cramped when I grab them I don't want my hand to be you know I want my hand to have free reign so that's what I did with these ones I have a couple of them that I like and they're especially good for long images as well as these ones that are coming up this is a little bit different instead of the pockets coming up on the top like in the small fussy cuts what I did was I used oh I didn't uh, washi tape here so you can see the sukwang tape I don't know if you can see that but I put washi tape on top because I thought it kind of added a little razzle dazzle it added a little bit of I don't know dazzle <laughs> Add a, added a little dazzle to my uh, collection it just makes uh, using this binder a lot nicer so I probably will add another piece right there and it kind of uh, shows me where you know where the pocket ends so for these ones I like these for ooh, long images long 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 images so instead of having uh, you know a bunch of things hanging out the top like I have right here instead of you know kind of uh, <laughs> I kind of uh, what's it called it's kind of dangerous having it like that because whenever I'm going through it I'm rushing through you know in the heat of the art the heat of the collage uh, I don't want these to get bent I don't want these to get ruined so I decided to create another kind of pocket for longer images and I feel like they stay a lot more secure because they're not gonna be they don't jiggle around they're chilling and so I have a couple of them for my long longer images my wider images I will be going through the sections in a second and giving you all a peek but yeah so this is basically the how I have a bunch of full ones for the full big bigger images but I was really excited to figure out a way to a utilize you know the stuff that I already have not buying new uh, baseball card holders I actually looked them up because I was gonna use them but they're really expensive really and all you need is paper protectors double-sided tape that's you know heavy duty like not the cheap stuff not not this we're not using this scotch permanent we're not using that we need a little bit stronger and then some washi tape that's that's you know optional if you want to get a little jazzy <laughs> but yeah so the sort of sections that I decided were most helpful for me to have uh, were a small fussy cut section a 2b fussy cut section so this is kind of like a catch-all for anything that needs to be worked on uh, but I'm not in the, like when I'm not in the mood to fussy cut because you have to be in the mood to fussy cut <laughs> and for anyone who doesn't know what fussy cutting is it's when you're doing precision cutting basically precision cutting for small images so something like that uh, we got a little tiny section for those I have a specific body fussy cut section and the body I, I love I love using people's legs <laughs> I love <laughs> give me your body <laughs> I'm the like <laughs> I feel like I'm a serial killer like these are all my these are all my little bit little tokens from the harvest <laughs> And then we got people fussy cut. So these are more so like full size people. This guy is like, stop in the name of love before you break my heart. And then I got 
ooh, I wanted, this is one of the first like images I ever cut out uh, when I first started doing magazine harvests. And I really want to use this person, this person's head. Ah, one day. One day, it's so nice when you start using up images that you've had for like months and months and months. Because it's like, ah, oh, finally. So hopefully one day. I have a section for art tings. So any art that I steal from other artists, I like to have a little section for it because I don't know. Sometimes art's like really cool and it just adds like a little flavor to your art, to your own art, stealing other people's. <laughs> you gotta love collage. Uh, and then this is kind of like my catch all. I have to organize small medium images. So kind of, this one's kind of junky. <laughs> A little junk junk, but hey, look how organized I'm staying though. As as long as you have catch-alls and you know, like you don't have 50 of them, I say a catch having one catch-all for the small, for the medium, and for the large is a really good idea because having a place where you can just throw things when you're not in the mood to organize will help in the long run be able to maintain maintain this beautiful homeostasis of you know getting new magazine art in and using some of it up so just a little piece of advice uh, I have a food section because your girl likes to eat and but I tend I tend to stay with like greens or fruits I don't like pick up burgers I don't really pick up stuff that's gonna make me super hungry <laughs> because that hurts my heart and I get hungry and then I'm like damn it I don't have any cookies where are the fucking cookies uh next section I have cartoons because I really love cartoons comics illustrations uh this is a little bit different than my art things but primarily everything's illustrated and if I wasn't on video how I would get these out I would take it out and then <laughs> be able to do like la 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 uh, but for the sake of the video I don't want to fling things all across the video so I have cartoons food skies and sunsets I love skies I love sunsets if period like not even not period but like full stop end of the sentence that's it um I'm white as hell I'm not using period that's bad but yeah I love sunsets I love sunsets sunrises skies anything that has to do with looking up <laughs> basically uh, goes in here I this isn't even the only section that I have I have another section for skies and sunsets because I'm obsessed I love them I want them I want them all when I do magazine harvest, if you check out my other videos, you will see that I go, I get very excited. <laughs> I get so excited over skies and sunsets. I want them all, which is kind of dangerous because I don't, I don't have, I'm going to have to dedicate a glue book. I think that's going to be my next glue book. Behind the rainbow glue book uh, that Nicole from Relax Cut Glue uh, she inspired me to start a rainbow. Well, I haven't yet, but I'm going to start a rainbow glue book. And then the next one I think is going to be skies and sunsets because ooh, I'm getting a lot of pictures. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of pictures. Uh, next section is waves. So anything ocean, lakes, water goes in here. We have people. This is uh, the bigger version of the people fussy cut. So anyone that's like, if the main focus of the image is a person, it'll go in here. And uh, to be honest, I don't use big people a lot. I tend to use small fussy cut people, which is annoying because there's so much more effort. <laughs> uh, animals, pretty self-explanatory. I love animals. Um, National Geographic really uh, allows me to get a lot of animal pictures, which is nice. Next, we have aquatic because I have a lot of Florida magazines uh, f and Florida magazines. They love their water. They love the water. They love 
Oh my goodness, fish, just the aquatics. <laughs> so I have a whole section because look at many octopuses I have. This is from one National Geographic, except for this one. This was in the magazine video I did. You guys saw I was really excited to find that piece. But yeah, these are all like, look how many octopuses. I could start a hentai with all these octopuses. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh my gosh, okay. That's the one bad thing about this compared to the accordion folder method that I've seen around. Uh, you have to kind of like finagle them in. But this I think works, I don't know, just as for on a budget, this. <laughs> So we got flowers and flora. Anything greenery, naturey, beautiful stuff like that goes in here. I really need to stock up on more. And now that I'm looking at this, because I use a lot of these. These are my favorite backgrounds. Well, kind of. Kind of my favorite backgrounds. I love scenery pictures as my backgrounds as well. Scenery is the bigger version of a... Uh, Skies and sunsets. <laughs> oh, we got more skies. Who would have thought? Oh my goodness. Who would have thought? Not me. <laughs> oh, what was that? A uh, Hot Ones episode with like Ben Affleck or something. And he's like, who would have thought we would have been here? <laughs> We'd have made it this far. Not me. I'm so bad at quotes. I probably got that half wrong. <laughs> Forgive me for I have sinned, but I don't care. I'm sorry if my if I keep jostling the mic. This is I'm new to this mic. Y'all have to give me some patience, please. So next section is space and technology. Uh, this is my creepy creepy section, and why I say creepy is because I get a lot of medical images, especially from uh. National Geographic, so. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's all I need to say. <laughs> that's all I need to say. We're just going to put that back in. Don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it's like an image that I could not stop looking at. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, uh, whoa. <laughs> These are my words. These are my uh, sentiments word sentiments. I have a little baggie here for the little baby ones. And then I have uh, the rest are like kind of big words or like paragraphs. Like this one is a whole, a whole big one. I like using the sentiments because I really feel like the right words, if you pick the right words, it can take your art from like a B plus to like an A plus because words that tie into your art can make people feel things can make people can just change up the whole the whole energy of your art this is my images extra large and what that means is we got full pages here so these are like non cut or anything like perfectly full and then these are kind of like the ones that are almost there but I kind of I, I read them. <laughs> so, we got a lot of background images. Oh, hippo. My friend Alec loves hippos. I don't know why I'm telling you all that, but I just saw <laughs> this image and I was like, Alec! <laughs> uh, we got some animals. We got... <laughs> uh, not, not a rave. This is a funeral. I don't know if I've posted that magazine harvest yet. Stay tuned. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just showing, oh my God, I love this image. Stonewall in. I need to use that. I need to use that. Ah, going through this is making, like re reminding me a bunch of images that I have and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And also a lot of images that I'm like, hmm, why did I take that? <laughs> What was I thinking? <laughs> I don't actually know why that's in there. But, yeah. And then it just goes pop. 
pop back in. And then just make sure none of the sides get a little crinkled. Make sure they're all upright. And this is where the, the accordion folder method probably is what is superior in that aspect that you just can fling things in and don't have to worry about crinkling. But with this, I like viewing everything. Well, actually, I think the accordion folder way, you can view things as well. So uh, I don't know if I've said this, but once I outgrow this, if like, I can't fit all of my magazine stuff in one binder, then it's time for me to move up to the accordion folder. Uh, we got full images. I'm gonna go through these quick. We only got a couple sections left. We got some bones, more nature. Oh my goodness, we're seeing a theme in everything that I take. Is nature. And it's so funny, because most of the time you can't, you couldn't pay me to go outside. <laughs> You couldn't get me to go outside for nothing except to go to the park for my 20 minutes of sunlight a day but I love images of you know places that I might never never go to or beautiful sites that only happen you know once a year like festivals or any uh I don't know like space stuff like pictures of you know the eclipse or something like Sometimes I don't see them in real life. Like, I don't go outside and view them. So, it's nice to see pictures. <laughs> it's the lazy way to experience life. <laughs> Not lazy, but the introvert. Let me just say that. Yeah, introvert. That's a better way of saying it. So, these are maps. I love using maps for my travel spreads because I feel like they add a little bit of... Oh, I actually travel. <laughs> well, I have traveled, but only, like, United States and England. I still need to hit up Europe. I have a black and white section, but as you can see, I don't really have a lot. I have a printed section for all of my, uh, just that has printed words. And if I want to use them as backgrounds, what I'll do is I'll just put them upside down so people can't read it. And it acts as having words there, but they don't take away from the main focus of the image or the collage. We have patterns. I really want to show you this one. How pretty is this? Look at that. That's so nice. My friend gave me that. She sent that to me when I first started doing collaging. I went on my Facebook and asked all my friends to send me their junk because I wanted to start a junk journal. I wanted to start doing art and my friends came through and it was beautiful. I have also wrapping paper for when I was doing my mystery Christmas collage cards. And then I have a section for a theme. A theme is anything that comes from... It shares a theme. <laughs> it shares a theme. It comes from the same thing. Uh, this all came from a calendar my mom got me a couple years ago. Cause I couldn't, couldn't bring myself to throw away. It was too beautiful. So I ended up keeping it all in here. That way, if I wanted uh, some continuity, you know, some same elements, I can just grab and not have to search through, you know. If I uh, separated these by size, it'd be a lot harder for me to find everything that I want. So I use a theme folder to hold, you know, one theme at a time. I hope that makes sense. And last but not least, I have my miscellaneous. So anything that I'm not really sure what the hell to do with, like where to put it. <laughs> so like this, like this is what it was. And this is, this is what I did. This is sexy. This is, I'm actually really proud of this one. Um, like, look at that. Fussy cutting is hard and it's tedious sometimes. And it can be, it can be a time. It can be hard too, especially when you're doing, you have to go like and cut inside, you know. But I did a really good job on this <laughs> and I'm so excited. I'm showing it off, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then we got like just other scraps and I think this is a coin, some big ass coins. And I don't know what I'm doing with them. <laughs> I'm just keeping them here until 
they fit in some piece and I'm like gonna that happens to me sometimes where I, I'll keep an image and I'll have no idea what I want to do with them and then all of a sudden I ha I'm doing an art and it'll be like the perfect piece and I've had that happen to me a couple times which makes me really nervous about throwing things out because I'm like I don't want to throw anything that's gonna be beautiful <laughs> in my arts and as you can see how I you know go from front to back it's really easy if you just kind of grab all of them and kind of go in one swing uh 95 percent of the time this stays secure like obviously if you go like this you know you tilt it upside down everything's gonna fall out probably i have not tried and i will not try for you guys <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh but you feel free to try out and leave it in the comments <laughs> but yeah so this is my setup too long didn't read use these bad boys these bad boys get some scissors some double-sided tape and washi tape to you know jazz it up a little bit and yeah this is how i store my magazine images uh let me know in the comments what you guys think or anything that you know you guys do in your uh storage that maybe i could add into mine I'm really interested in hearing because I still have <laughs> these are my sorties these are the the catch-all for everything that goes in here <laughs> everything hits the sorties first before uh, it meets uh, big blue so I have safe to say 70 million images in here <laughs> a little exaggeration but a lot lots and lots that I have to go through still and I have two more magazines that I'm going to be doing a harvest on I might record that here in a few minutes but that is big blue my big blue binder I hope you all enjoyed this video oh this you guys might be wondering what is in this this is all my craft paper all my browns look it says this was <laughs> this is what it was before I used the lush bag brown <laughs> so anything brown labely i don't know i love using craft paper because it makes me feel like i'm a hipster i don't know it just adds a hipster feel in my art and i i'm digging it sometimes but i think that's pretty much it i hope you guys you know found this video interesting and if not i hope you guys at least saw like a couple images that you're like oh i wish i had that you know well, or just like <laughs> I don't want y'all to be jealous <laughs> I don't know I'm rambling I hope y'all have a wonderful day and stay strong I know the world is kind of hard out there at the moment and everything just seems like it's never ending but at the same time <sighs> nothing's happening and it's just it's a really weird time so give yourself some grace give yourself some compassion and just know that no matter what you all have a spot here waiting for you you know i'm holding out a spot for y'all and you guys are welcome to comment and i'm i'm gonna say i'm nice so <laughs> feel free to comment if you guys need some love i'm here for you so i hope you all have a wonderful day i will see you next time bye guys <laughs>